I get a lot of pleasure from being a donor. For the Arts Centre, it's a way of being able to contribute. Me, who to some extent is quite privileged, being able to say to people who can't afford to come, here's an opportunity to come and see what's here. For, for us, it was a no-brainer to get involved. And that's because we both are passionate about the arts. We both have always loved the arts. Um, Clark has been coming to Arts Centre Melbourne since he was a little boy. And in fact, my drama teacher used to say to me at school that after food and shelter, people need to feed their souls. It means that our stories and our experience of living in this country are up there on our stages and on our screens. And the arts remains a thriving industry and that's incredibly important. Allowing people from disadvantaged communities or people that can't afford to be in, in this kind of lifestyle, by exposing them to the arts is a huge thing. Because you never know who that person is or what that person desires to be. It makes their world bigger and it also shows them that live theatre is not elitist, that it's open to everyone and that they should feel comfortable coming here. Betty Amsden was an amazing, extraordinary woman who had a very clear vision and passion about what she wanted to achieve in the community here. But she recognised quite early on that she needed a collaborator, she needed someone to help her bring that vision to life. And so the marriage that came about between Betty and Arts Centre Melbourne was really a bringing together of her passion, her commitment, Arts Centre Melbourne's passion and commitment, but also the considerable expertise that Arts Centre Melbourne has as an organisation for bringing these amazing creative opportunities to life. Never danced before, this is my first time. It sort of didn't matter how good you were, it was like you learn from this and you get better. Especially for this industry, um, hands-on learning's really good, it's hard to learn how to follow spot from a book. That was such a surreal experience to be sitting, you know, 10 metres above the State Theatre. Things like the Music Vault for me, it shows that we have, we have a sense of not only belonging but meaning and purpose. It's really important for us as musicians, as artists, producers, people in the arts industry, in the music industry, to have that landscape, that space that honours what we do. Every child deserves a chance to visit Arts Centre Melbourne. Unfortunately, there are many children that, that don't have that chance. You are directly helping a child to experience that joy and excitement.